Hi everyone. I'm back. I'm kind of kicking it in the front yard here where the little food forest is. I wanted to talk a little bit about the guilds. The, uh, the blending of certain species to certain life forms that kind of help each other out. Some of them compete with each other a little bit, so let's get started. Right here in this garden, now that it's kind of growing more of a shrub layer, we have amaranth. There's a bunch of amaranth in here, and I'm going to harvest the seeds, and then I'm going to grind them in a grain mill. I bought a um, really nice grain mill from, um, from online. <laughs> Pleasant Hill Grain Mill. So these amaranth um, bushes or stalks are kind of protecting this cherry tree, protecting the trunk from sunburn, and they're protecting the root base from desiccation, keeping everything kind of dry when I water. And then along with those, I planted a lot of tomatoes in here. And I like tomatoes. I'm not a big, you know, tomato eater, but I will eat, you know, tomatoes and also jar them and everything, put them back for the winter. Um, but I, I'm growing them more to protect the base of the trees and provide food. I'm trying to get a forest system going. So same thing kind of goes with, there's a corn, random corn, um, glass gem corn. And here we have curly dock mixed with uh, tomatoes and then lots of different types of pumpkins and squash growing through here more tomatoes artichokes some of the more canopy layers growing in here different fruit trees all mixed in we got a fig over there and a center camera i'm letting a lot of these artichokes blossom to feed the bees uh, pollen they really like it for the pollen and then I'm taking the flower heads and scattering them in the yard and the seeds will grow and create more artichokes. So we're getting a feedback system going. And I'm walking through pathways that kind of weave in through. And I have these little barriers here and there with some tools. I've got my weed whacker, which I haven't really used much because I'm just kind of letting things grow. But, um, yeah, more another patch of amaranth, just protecting that area, casting a nice shadow. Under here there's amaranth, underneath this plum tree. It's a big plum tree. And little bits of rosemary. I'm going to put these archways in to train the um, pumpkins over. Um, and the, on each tree there's a you know, some kind of grape. So the grapes are going to train up the trees and create a canopy layer. Eventually, these different relatives, so this one here is a small um, apple tree, right? I'm going to graft it onto the pear over here. So as it grows bigger, I'm going to connect the branches and then they're going to heal together and there's going to be an archway under that I'm walking under. Got my gopher hunter over here. Same thing goes over here. These are different stone fruits. So there's three of them in here. There's like a nectarine, a hybrid plum or peach, and then another one in here. Kind of hiding this guy. So when these three get big, they're going to grow together and create a miniature canopy. And then those branches will connect into that one over there. And all these plants will support each other through growth, uh, through their through their growth. So there's little pumpkins scattered all over here because they're reaching maturity. But I got them hanging off this trellis here. See that? This is a good way to grow pumpkins or any kind of squash, really, or melon, because you can just come in, cut them off, and harvest them. They're not in the dirt. They're just uh, ready to harvest. <laughs> 